Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to that one awkward guy. Today we're going to be continuing our series in Hearts of Iron 4 as Texas with the United States States mod. In the last episode we pretty much took out the um, North Virginia Pact. Um, yeah, they have a few holdouts, uh, but we can't really get to those right now and I realize I'm on naval map mode. Um, but we can't really get to them right now, so... Eh, we're just gonna kinda move on. We're gonna deal with Florida, which I didn't reload the game when I ended the last episode. I know I forgot to do something. How did I do that? I think maybe they just have some kind of decryption or something, and that's why. Because I can see everyone else. Ah, uh, whatever. Um, but yeah, now we're working very slowly on pushing our way through Florida. And it looks like we actually did just break them as soon as I paused there. So that's good. That we are getting attacked by some any enemy infantry here shouldn't slow us down too much even if they're constantly attacking us okay you guys actually hit them and yeah we have broken the bottleneck now so it shouldn't be too hard and now we can actually see the divisions it shouldn't be too hard now to deal with florida and we're also working down all of these nuclear reactors we got repairs going everywhere Got more military factories to assign. I don't know, something like that. I guess. Apparently we have the rubber for it. Okay. So what are we looking at? Can We are pushing further south. These tanks are doing this all on their own. Which is amazing, though it is costing us a lot. So I'm thinking of subbing them out for some infantry now. Yeah, we're going to get uh, the infantry down there. At least uh, 24 divisions. You know what? Let's send the other 24 too. These guys. It's those tanks, they need they need a breather. They are starting to get to the point where their strength is... Eh. Unless we can just drive straight. Maybe if we can drive straight from Miami. I don't know. It's wor You know what? It's worth a shot. Because if we can do that, then we can basically just end this. If we can take Miami. Come on. At the very least, it forces them to stretch their front line even more. So. Come on, tanks. Come on. Otherwise, we pull these guys out and we send the uh, infantry in to take their place. Oh, if we nuke it. If we nuke it, maybe we could take it. Nuke it again. And, come on, come on, tell me we can do it, tell me we can do it. They're not even trying to send reinforcements in. And we got it, we got Miami. And that's it, that's it, they're gone, they're gone. They are now surrounded without a port. So we are going to wipe them out. There's a lot of divisions encircled here, we're about to watch the enemy's casualties just skyrocket in a second. Is there a way that I can view them based off their faction, possibly? I guess we could just look at the total casualties. The syndicate right here. Yes, 6.31. Let's let's watch that increase as we get all of these surrounded divisions and we destroy them. 639. 6.43. Got another group of them up here that look like they're trying to escape, actually. But they're not going to do it. You know, let me just give the order. Let's, let's just get this done. <clears throat> I'll keep it in my head, 6.43. And the last bit, and this is where we got, I think, most of their divisions. And some of them, I think, are retreating from this province and then arriving, which is why we're seeing those battles pop up periodically. Wow. So that's done. That's the We finished that war. And I expected that to take a little longer, and then I was going to end the episode when we took Florida and then build up for a little bit. And I was going to do that off camera, but I guess we can't really do that now. So we're just going to have to build up on camera because I'm not going to end the episode in five minutes. And... I hate editing. I really, I, I like editing when there's a challenge to it, and 
Sarabis are not worth it. They're just not worth it. I like editing when, you know, I'm trying to actually make something cool, but this kind of editing where it's just... And every time I've done it, too, I've tried it out before where I edit the stuff out, and people are always like, yeah, I'll leave it in. So, unless anybody has a problem with it, then if you do, say so in the comments. I'll be probably just leaving this part in. Boom. Get them over in L.A. Let's get the infantry... Um, mm -hmm. Let's get the infantry focused on Missouri because that's where we're probably going to end up pushing next. Let's delete that. Nope. I realize what we've done because we have military access. We don't want that. We want. You know what? Let's actually delete all of our front lines because we can essentially we have full control of our infantry now. There's no front lines we currently have, so we have all of these guys that we can send wherever we please. So let's go ahead and do that. I guess I should and could unpause it while I do this. So there we go. I actually realized that these guys didn't quite do what I want. Oh, they did. It's just weird, I think. Oh no, they didn't. What the heck is going on there? I'm confuzzled. Is it this one? Is it, is it done it? No? I don't know. Whatever. It's fine. Uh, divisions are moving. Tanks are producing. Let's unpause. Let's put it on 5 speed and build up for a little bit. Right now we're working on getting that heavy SP artillery and then we'll switch it around and we'll work on those other heavy tanks there. Um, and one of our first goals is going to be secure that chromium that I can't, because these, uh, they're in the coalition, so I can't get that extra, uh, bit of chromium right now, and that's, I think it, that's all that's left, left on the map that I don't own, pretty much. Might have been a deposit here somewhere of it, but, yeah, I think that's really all that's left on the map. Five chromium right there, and everything else I've maxed out infrastructure everywhere, uh, to get that extra chromium, every bit of it that I can afford, and we're going to also do all this, because we're going to need every bit of infrastructure once we get pushing. Alright. Oh, hello. Naval invasion. How very annoying. And before we get naval invaded down here, let's do that. Get them on the ports. So who, let's let's just justify in these guys now. Because I don't think they're going to be able to stand up to our Air Force. They're not guaranteed by anyone. They're not going to be able to stand up to our Air Force. So I don't think we really need to wait for the tanks or anything like that. Um, can we just like throw you guys here? Oh, that actually works out perfectly. And you know what, you guys are pretty close. Close enough, I think. We may put you there. Let's split up this thousand air wing and get like 250 there, and then the remaining 750 or so there, and we put we split this into two, I'm trying to get them as close to the area as we can for the maximum air efficiency. Oh, I guess I could put the 500 right there, but that's okay. Oh, we are overstuffed here. Too many planes. Uh, we could put put a bunch up here. Actually, we need to take out another 400. Okay, we can't send that many up there. We could send these 400 here. That would need more still. Okay. Okay, and this is pretty much our entire air force almost. That's going to be concentrated right here, with the exception of some planes, which. I'd like to have there, so we're going to call them down. Get me those there. Get me like 200 maybe. Yeah, right there. And then these guys should actually even be in range there. Alright, now the entire Texan Air Force is going to be involved in this battle. So let's declare our war. No possible enemies. Here we go. Let's go. 
make sure all of our Air Force is doing what they need to be doing. Get off interception. All right, and let's go. Oh, I didn't even set any offensive lines for my guys. Just realizing that. That was not smart of me. I could have been getting planning bonus. Whatever. I think our planes will make the difference. Boom. Oof. Oh, they're actually oh up here too. Because we are pushing in the north and now we have no planes up there. It's fine. We're we're already smashing our way through in the south. Oh my god, that's not even natural. That amount of air damage. You, oh god, even their few anti-air guns they have is not making the difference. And there's the win. Missouri's ours. Which, along with it, again, every state we conquer brings us a little bit more manpower. So who else? Is there anyone else we can conquer? We can conquer Manitoba, we can get up into Alaska, we can get Yukon, Northwest Territories, um... The only one with the population to make it worth it would probably be Manitoba, though. It's, you know, all these guys in Alaska, Yukon, Northwest Territories. Yeah. It's just the population is so low compared to the attrition I'd suffer going up there. Um, even Manitoba is not that much. It's all like one big province. I'm not sure. You know what? We'll go for Manitoba. You know what? We'll go for Manitoba. We'll go for Manitoba. They don't really have that many divisions, so. Let's get the justification going. Shouldn't be long. Um, but yeah, right now this is just buying time for us to get these nuclear reactors online and for us to get repairs going and everything like that. We're at 8.7% a day, so we're going to order up more nuclear reactors at some point, I think. And also, I see big lines of forts. That's not really important anymore. Um, before I forget, because I will forget, let's, let's just do this now. Order all this up now. Whatever we can. Apologies for the clicking noise. I really should try to get a silent mouse. I, I got a silencer keyboard recently. Mostly I just didn't like my old one. Um, but yeah, I need a silent mouse too, so I'm sorry if that's too loud. Alright, let's declare war. Ooh, we got a unassigned division. Ooh, more tanks, yay. Is that it? That should be it for tank production, yeah. So now, oops, okay. Take all states. Boom. Manitoba is a part of our empire now. Um, so I guess at this point, it's just... Okay, is this all? No, it wouldn't be counted as one front line then. Okay. You know, at this point, I'm kind of thinking... I'm, I need more divisions. I just need, another, like, more. At least another 24. So we're going to order that up. Just like this. And another thing that I need to do is I need to look at resistance because we're dealing with resistance issues everywhere. So we got these guys. Let's go to resistance map mode. Oh, I see a naval invasion down there. I'm going to deal with that. And I think this is a different area. Oh, this is hard to... You know what? It's just easier to just do it like this and just guess. Yeah. Yeah. If I get off by a few, it's fine. Just everywhere. You know what? We could really just garrison everything to be safe and just turn on the repression thing. Or suppression, and they'll just go where they're needed anyway, so. Oh, wrong map mode. Am I missing anywhere? Ah, this whole region up here. Ontario and Minnesota. Alright, turn off that, turn off that, turn off that, turn off that. And that, apparently we only need six divisions to deal with all of that. Um, which I don't really know if I buy that or not, but... Okay, can we maybe back... Oh my god. Alright, alright, let's, uh... 
this is about to get really bad. Okay, you're too far away. Get me these guys. Hurry. They are landing. The enemy is landing. Um, we're actually going to even train up a few, like, 10 or 15 separate divisions. We're going to add that to the Naval Defense Force, because clearly they're spread a little thin if they can't properly respond to an issue like this. Um, luckily, we do have lots of divisions in range to respond. So we're going to be able to push this back, regain control of the airport before they can use it to bring in supplies or something with air transports the transport planes you can use the supply mode I'm not sure how effective that is though oh more factories um, artillery guess what we're gonna build more of you because apparently we don't have enough already and now we're gonna prioritize this over the SP artillery even though we don't really have as much of a stockpile as I would like I still need to get our deficits eliminated okay so Here's effectively what will happen. We have to have army groups there and there. We have to have army group here, here. Yeah, we're gonna need at least probably. Yeah, we're gonna need a lot more. Oops. This is gonna leave us with effectively no manpower. So we're gonna have to probably go to the next conscription level soon. Can I move these guys up? I don't. Oh, yeah, do that. Yeah. Alright, what are we actually lacking? Manpower? Yep, we got it, we got it. Just have them deploy anywhere. Um, and I'll set them all to one. But yeah, we just need more men on the field right now. No motorized, nothing, because the tanks are all we need. The tanks and the nukes, plus, you know, like the planes and everything. We don't need any motorized or anti tank, none of that. We can break through. We just need troops to get on the front lines. Because we're going to use the tanks to take out South Dakota. We're going to use the tanks to take out Louisiana. That frees up 48 divisions plus tanks. Probably going to push south to north. Uh, just because I know the attrition is going to suck up here. I might even pull back to this river. I think it would make a lot more sense to do that. Um, then try to hold over here and then I can you know, control the infrastructure and everything. I'll be, I won't build it up for them. But yeah, that's kind of my thought process right now. We got those last few nuclear reactors building. We're stockpiling our own nukes, which is amazing for us. Doing this research whenever I remember to check it, just because uh, I guess I can still do all these. But it's, it's not really... Oh my god, they landed again. Did they take a port? Okay, they didn't take a port. Who's dumb idea was it to do this and I have no ships that can even respond to that who is it uh, that's one of our navy patrol things yeah they're trying to reinforce that okay 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 what are we gonna do what are we gonna do do we have any divisions nearby nope not really this is our closest you know what? We just need to go coastal defense all over Florida. That's what those 15 divisions are going to do. Now we got to go, because they now do have a port, actually. So Let's get the tanks over, because we might end up needing those, actually. And let's... If I take off the garrison order, these guys will leave. If I keep the garrison order, people will come. Let's just, let's just push through this as quick as possible. That's really our best option. And let's get some air support, because, yeah, we need it. Just everybody right down here, and I can spread them out as needed. Okay, just do that now. Move all the planes all over the place. something like that right there it's not quite enough that's okay um, move that there and let's uh, come on this is not my favorite part of the game 
when you just have so much stuff everywhere. Okay, we can put that there, and we can put about 2,000. One, two, three, four, five, right there. Nope, I overcounted. Or no, I didn't. They just weren't all groupings of 200. Okay, now get everybody there. And then those 15 divisions are just going to have to defend the coastline in Florida because this is going to be a continuous issue. We're actually going to even step up that 15 even more. We're going to bring it up even though we don't really have a lot of free manpower. It's fine. We're going to step it up anyway. And yeah, I think I know what we have to do here now. Okay. So that's the co that's the coastal defense. You know what? We could do to even free ourselves up a bit more. The coastal defense is going to do fine here. I'd rather have more troops concentrated here. And we'll add troops to the coastal defense to go into Miami as well. I mean, this actually does kind of work out because we're dealing a lot of casualties to the enemy. So in a way, it's awesome. We just overrun a ton of enemy divisions. Uh, dang. Um, okay. This is where the lack of portraits starts to get me, because I can't remember. And I know I, I, it's fixed now, um, but I never remember. So you, I kept you off of a portrait, because you're my guy that just does the suppression. Your port defense... So you're fine with your order as is, and you are that. So you are actually going to go, if possible, I'd like to get here too, because this is all susceptible to naval invasion. So now if I deploy you an additional 15 divisions, and give all of that to you, plus even more are on the way, I don't like that they just abandoned everything here right away. But we got troops speeding down so shouldn't be a problem I'm not sure if we're gonna really have enough to defend everything here but we're gonna give it a shot oh just in time to repel that invasion uh, but we're gonna have another five divisions to help in a second so I think we're gonna be okay um, you guys are up there where's the Florida army Florida army's right here they're gonna go right on that front Okay, and you, I'd like to keep the tanks under this guy. Let's bring the tanks, let's send them back to LA, cause, or, you know, let's send them to Austin, keep them closer to this front. Can I quick deploy these guys? I can. Alright, perfect. So that should end up being enough to effectively defend everything and keep any invasions at bay. Hopefully. Knock on wood. Oh, the one nice thing about Texas is not needing to worry about fuel, so I can just deploy all those fighters and not even think about it. Because we do have so much oil. How are we doing on tanks? Okay, we've almost gotten through on tanks now. But we did get pushed back on the SP artillery, so we're actually going to put it back up now. And then that's going to produce a little slower, but that's okay. Okay, and there's there we go. So now we are going to get new guys, and these guys are just going to go into an entirely new army group. And he's going to get an entirely new guy. Um, it'll be, it's going to be a lot of this guy. We're going to promote him the field marshal. Boom. And then these, he's here. He is going to be, come on. Why can't I move him? Oh, there we go. So, yeah. He's over here, because he's just like the passive. He's not really fighting. He's just all the garrison orders. I just give them a field marshal, because why not? Maybe they can get, like, entrenchment or something. Oh, recovery rate's actually pretty good for them. So they'll get that. And then him. What can I get you? Reinforce rate, entrenchment, offensive doctrine, maybe? Yeah, let's get him offensive doctrine, because we're going to need to be offensive here. We're going to have to make some pushes. So what, where's the, what's the status on that other 24? They're about to deploy an additional 24 divisions. 
Our field and manpower rapidly increasing. Boom. Oops, should have done that. And then that. Let's get him a new commander at the top here. Okay. So one there, one there. And then these guys will now will have an army in the north. You know what? I'd rather these guys, the battle-tested, more elite divisions, I'm going to have them kind of like here. Why can't you go the whole route? Why not? To do that I don't know okay well let's just see where this gets us so if we go that then no because you then we have to go here okay then we go boom and then we go boom back here So let's see how that looks, because we don't need to hold these front lines for very long. It's important to remember that, like Louisiana and um, like South, they're not going to survive for very long. The tanks are going to make very quick work work of South Dakota first, and then they're going to slam these 24 divisions into the line here and the Louisiana guys here. So these divisions are just hold the line until we can get these kind of like within our territory campaigns done and then we get the main forces here so the line is thin for sure but with proper air support which um, off video I'll get I'll deploy a lot of planes let's put it that way I'll deploy planes all over and have them well deployed because we have tons now we are producing stupid numbers of planes at this point so should be more than fine in that regard and I think we can do it, and I think that'll basically be the be the series, maybe two, three more episodes. Which for me is about another day of recording, because I'm recording these, this is my fourth one today, I might even do a fifth, I'm not sure, probably not, because my throat's really hurting. Um, but yeah. I think that's, you know what, yeah, I think that's about it. So let's, let's just overview everything before I end the episode. So actually, specifically what I want to see is construction repair. Not even repair that'll all get itself done. I'm not going to prioritize that. We're going to get infrastructure going everywhere we can. So maybe specific areas where I could prioritize. I mean, it doesn't matter. We have plenty of supply all over, regardless. Yeah, I mean, it's really just it's a matter of um, the fact that we're going to have nukes, we're going to have air superiority, and yeah. So right now you can see on our side there is 7.62 to 9 let's let's call that 8.5 out of that 8.5 on this side of our alliance out of that 2.53 of it is ours so we are outnumbered but it's important to note that in that alliance Louisiana which is a fair amount won't last very long and South Dakota, which isn't a super crazy amount, but is some, won't last very long either. So that'll come very close to kind of balancing it a bit. So that's that's the start right there. And then the air power we have, of course, is also going to be very valuable. And the fact that we have crazy recruitable, like we're back up to 100,000 now. We're at like 60 before. That's going to be very useful for us as well. I'm just thinking, is it worth it right now to go up to service by requirement it kills our construction speed and our output so i really don't want to unless it's strictly necessary so i'm gonna hold off basically as long as i can because we we have so much repairs and everything that we need to get done and infrastructure that i'm trying to build so i'd rather hold off if at all possible let's also get these civvies actually prioritized for repair that i think about it that'll speed things along even more Oh, pretty much everything that needs to be repaired is repaired, so. Yeah. More research that I don't need here. Yeah, sure, let's get some ships. Anyway, though, guys, um, we are at about 30 minutes, so I'm going to call the episode here. If you did enjoy, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next episode. Bye for now.